Well, your immune system is in the middle of a very serious battle. Your accent's very thick. You ever notice your accent makes things sound worse than they, than they actually are? You could give good news and I'd still be like, what happened? Am I I'm still dying? Middle-aged virginity and the 40-year-old virgin, accidental pregnancy and knocked up. Judd Apatow has tackled serious issues before, but nothing quite as big as in Funny People when millionaire comedian George Simmons, played by Adam Sandler, learns he has a form of leukemia and the outlook isn't good. The movie is hilarious, of course, but even in two and a half hours, Apatow isn't sure where to go with his exploration of life and death, shame and regret. George hires aspiring comic Ira, played by Seth Rogen, as an assistant, but Ira isn't much of a character on his own, and George spends too much of the film wandering aimlessly. With no new emotional ground discovered through his reconnection with his ex, played by Apatow's real-life wife, Leslie Mann. Nothing's going on around here. It's completely innocent. I what accent is that? Jamaican? Table. Funny people can't get by on laughs when its plot feels so uncertain. In other words, when a comedy goes for more than comedy and doesn't pull it off, it's fair to dislike a movie even as it cracks you up. That was like a scene from Deer Hunter. <laughs> Mow! <laughs> The bonus is Jonah Hill's character telling Ira that there's nothing funny about someone who's physically fit, which is why no one wants to see Lance Armstrong do comedy. Jonah Hill riding the Tour de France, on the other hand, that would be worth seeing. For MetroMix.com, I'm Matt Pace.